Hey guys, it's Katie, and I'm here today to do the photography book tag. I was unofficially tagged like 500 years ago by a bear and a bee, I think. And yeah, I'm finally getting around to it. I've been, <laughs> life has been really chaotic, but I'm glad I'm finally getting to this tag because it's really interesting. So there are nine questions. So let's get into it. Number one, fast shutter speed. Name a fast paced book. And for this, I'm gonna pick The Da Vinci Code by Dan Brown. Number two, number two, sh slow shutter speed. Name a slow speed book. And for this, I'm gonna pick The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. Number three, pretty picture. Name a book with a pretty cover. For this, I am absolutely 100% picking Assassin's Fate by Robin Hobb. The UK edition is incredibly gorgeous, and one day I hope to get my hands on it. <laughs> 4. ISO. Name a book that brightens your day. This is going to be the BFG by Roald Dahl. Number 5. Leading Lines. Name a book that drew you in. For this, I'm picking The Historian by Elizabeth Kostova. Number six, Wide Aperture. Name a book that opened your eyes. Just Mercy, A Story of Mercy and Redemption by Brian Stevenson. It's an incredible book. It's, it's, it changed my perspective on so many things. I'd highly recommend reading it if you haven't. Number seven, Unusual, interesting focal point. Name a book that has an unusual plot. And for this, I'm going to pick a book called The Valley of Secrets, and it's by Charmaine Hussey. It's so different and unusual. It's kind of a fantasy, but it's like not really. It, it's, it takes a really weird and unexpected twist, and yeah you guys should check it out it's a children's book but deals with some really tough issues that you wouldn't really expect to see in a children's young middle grade book i don't know it's unusual i didn't love it i didn't hate it either it was just strange and if I were to try and tell you what it was about, it, I wouldn't do it justice properly. Number eight, narrow depth of field. Name a book with a balanced ending. You didn't see what was coming next. And for this, I'm gonna pick The King and the Criminal by Charlotte Ash. You just, you think it's over and you think things are all fine and great and then the end happens and you're like, excuse me, what? Where did that come from? So that was a, an unusual ending, a bit kind of crazy, left you with a bit of a, quite a bit of a cliffhanger. And finally, number nine, Large Depth of Field. Name a book that was predictable, and that was Origin by Dan Brown. I called the killer from the beginning, and I just kind of knew where the plot was going. Maybe it's because I've read so many Dan Brown books over the years that I just f kind of figured out his formula. But yeah, the plot was incredibly predictable. And so yeah, that's everything for all of the questions. I probably should have gone in a little bit more depth, but a lot of these books I've talked about before on my channel, so I felt like I didn't need to really go into much depth as to why I thought the things or picked the books that I did for the answers but yeah I may tag a few people because I just don't see this tag going around a lot watching and you want to do this feel free consider yourself tagged and yeah that's all I've got for you today so as always feel free to like subscribe comment follow me on social media I have a twitter and a goodreads which are both linked below and I will come back with another video with you guys again too okay Bye.